The Got It number two. What box and whisker plot represents the following monthly sales in millions of dollars of audio devices? First step, put everything in order. Pause the video, come back to it, check out your order. Hopefully you took the time to pause the video because now we're back with our numbers in order. We'll put the minimum by number four, the max by 34. Now find the median. Cross off three or so. I'll cross off one. Notice the median happens between 14 and 15. So the median happens at 14 and a half. We're also going to call that our quartile number three. Now what we do is we draw our dividing line and we find the quartile of the lower and the quartile of the higher, which is like finding the median. So two and two, you can see quartile number one is nine. Two and two, you can see quartile number three is 16. Now that we have all of our labels, we're gonna make our number line. So draw a nice straight line Put arrows to indicate that it is a number line and my minimum is 4 my maximum is 34 so we should go ahead and think about what would be a nice range well if I skip by twos I'm really going to be able to see this thing nicely if I skip by fours it wouldn't be so bad um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at 2 it's lower than my lowest and I'm just going to kind of space it out. I will skip by fours. Skip evenly. Neatness counts. And all I'm doing is counting up by fours. What you want to do is you want to utilize as much of your space as possible. So you don't want to skip by something bigger than four because that really wouldn't be showing a very nice picture. So put a dot at, first of all, your minimum, four. Next, put a dot at quartile number one, nine. Next, put a dot at your median, 14 and a half. Again, be as accurate as possible. Put a dot at your quartile, 316. Look how close those are. And put a dot at your max, 34. Now what we'll do is we'll connect the inner three dots to form the box. And you put a straight line down at the median. Last, you connect the whiskers. And now you have your box and whisker plot. This was your minimum value. This was the middle of your lower half. This is the exact half. This was the middle of your upper half, and this was your maximum altogether. You can see that there was a great spread of data between your last 25%. In fact, let's indicate such. There was a great spread in the higher 25% of the data. And that's how that graph reads. You could say that the, the lower first half, so I guess between 50 and 75%, you could say that they were really mushed together. And if you take a look at that, look how close those numbers were. That's why this box is so close together. Look how far apart these numbers were. That's why this whisker is so spread apart. Problem number three is talking about and interpreting box and whiskers. And this is more or less what you're going to see on the keystones. So this is where it becomes very important for you to focus on the words and terminologies. Use the box and whisker plot shown below. 
What do the interquartile ranges tell you about the average monthly rainfall for each city? So we have Miami and New Orleans. Let's talk about the box for Miami. You can see that the box for Miami is much longer, right? Well, because the box for Miami is much longer, that implies that the interquartile range is much larger. Now, what does that mean? That means that the middle 50% of Miami's monthly rainfall vary more, more widely than what happens in New Orleans. So what we're gonna say is the varying amount of rainfall for the middle 50% of Miami is much more widespread. than New Orleans. Let's take a look at got it number three and see if we can do this again. It says, what do the medians tell you about the average monthly rainfalls, rainfalls for Miami and New Orleans? Well, here's the median here, and that's for Miami, and here's the median here for New Orleans. You can see that for New Orleans, the median for New Orleans is higher than Miami. So in Miami, the rainfall is, the half of the rainfall, let's, can we write this down, Miami? Half of the rainfall is below 4.5 inches. Whereas in New Orleans, half of the rainfall is above Where's that at? About 5.3 inches. So you can see that in New Orleans, they average, at least in their medians, a higher rainfall. What we could also say is not only in Miami is half the rainfall below 4.5, we could add that half must be therefore above 4.5 as well. Half is below, half is above. And in New Orleans, we could say the exact opposite too. If half is above 5.3, we could say half is below 5.3. So it's nice to be able to read the chart, and understand a box and whisker graph and how much of the percents and stuff that they show. Your last vocab term is percentiles and percentile rank. A percentile separates data sets into 100 equal parts. The percentile rank of a data value is the percentage of data values that are less than or equal to that particular value. For example, in problem four, it says if you have 25 test scores, there they are, 25 test scores, Eight of them are less than or equal to 75. What is the percentile rank of a test score of 75? It's not too hard. What you do is you say eight out of 25. So you say how many are, how many are 75 or smaller? And this one says, how many total? So all we have to do is find our percent. So we do 8 divided by 25. 
and we get 32% as our percentile rank. Okay, the got it, not too hard, right? Just had to divide. Of 25 test scores, 15 are less than or equal to 85. What is this percentile rank of 85? So if we just do 15 over 25, and we get 60%. And that's all you have to do for percentile rank.